Hello, welcome back to my haunted library. It's Regina. So today I'm here with a book review. I did this as a buddy read with E.D. Lewis. I will link his channel below. So this is a gothic novel and also a historical novel called The Trembling Hills by Phyllis A. Whitney. I have several uh, Phyllis A. Whitney books in my collection and I plan to read all of them because I really love the way that she writes. And this book was no exception. It was really good. I wouldn't even classify it as a gothic book. It's To me, it's more like an historical romance. So the story is about a young woman named Sarah who moves from Chicago with her mother to San Francisco. So Sarah and her mother live in kind of diminished circumstances. And it wasn't always that way, but the mother doesn't talk about what happened with the father. So she shields Sarah from the truth. But she accepts, the mother accepts a position because they're pretty desperate. Mother accepts a position being a housekeeper from the family that they used to be connected with, the Varity family who are wealthy. And Sarah was in love with the son, Richie, from the time she was a young girl in this household. So they're not socially equals, although Sarah does find out that she is more of a social equal than she realized. So all of these things are kind of in place. They moved to, to this uh, beautiful Gothic mansion on uh, in San Francisco in Knob Hill, and Sarah uh, lives in the tower, which, of course, if I were going to live in a mansion, I'd want to live in the tower too, so it's great. So she and her mother are poor. The mother is kind of depressed. She is in this household where she's like a maid, well, more like a housekeeper. Sarah and her mother move into this beautiful home. And Richie, Sarah's great love, is engaged to this woman named Judith, who is this beautiful, kind of aloof, cold fish of a woman, I guess you could say, blonde, uh, delicate, the opposite of Sarah, who, and I like the way that she's described as this kind of big boned <laughs> brunette, which uh, is nice to see in a novel like this, where not every female character has to be, you know, um, like a wilting lily that she can be kind of a strong, physically strong, but also with, of a strong character. So I thought her character uh, was very nice. And she also has a strong will, which is nice to see too. Richie is engaged to Judith, but their relationship is rather distant. In the meantime, there is another brother named Nick who kind of catches Sarah's eye. I don't want to give too much of the plot away. There are a lot of romantic twists and turns in this book, which I really enjoyed. But one thing that was wonderful about this book was the setting. So there's a sense when Sarah arrives in San Francisco that she is trying to find out about her past. She ha keeps having this recurring scary nightmare. She wants to find out more about her father. She knows her mother's hiding something, but she doesn't know what. And she gets caught up in this very complex family situation with this old dowager who kind of takes her under her wing. Sort of a Miss Havisham kind of character, but she's not really to be trusted. So we see against this background of the early 20th century, a woman kind of showing some independence. So a big pivotal part of the book is the actual real life earthquake in San Francisco that happened in 1906 and the subsequent fires. And the Varity family they've made their fortune through insurance. So because now all these insurance policies are cashing in because of the earthquake, they are broke. All of these things happen to kind of bring out people's true characters. And I also really like that about this book. It is kind of like a sweeping epic that's not too long. So if you like romance that's not too heavy with a little bit of a historical and gothic flair, I think you'll really like uh, The Trembling Hills. I certainly did. I know E.D. enjoyed it too. Please let me know in the comments below if you've ever read this book or anything else by Phyllis A. Whitney. I would love to hear your thoughts. So that is all I have for today. Thanks for stopping by my haunted library and I'll see you soon. Bye.